Hi, this is the Limerick cast by Traws. Hey, Bro is playing, and Startup is in his jaws. I've seen half of this game, and then the inspiration came. This matchup is ZVZ, and I want to learn its laws. I downloaded this replay from Team Liquid. They're the best StarCraft site on the grid. They have quite the lab! Alright, oh, production tab. And you can safely put Overlords in mid. Hey, Pro is laddering on the Korean server. It's him versus Startup with no observer. Whoa, rally point. This does not disappoint. Why was he right clicking with such fervor? So now, Hey, Pro is hanging the screen. Hey, Pro overlords at 10, which is often seen, versus a lord at 9. I think both builds are fine. <laughs> he's setting rallies like he's had too much caffeine. Hapro was in GSL 3, but lost a bit by bit prime. He opened Mass Roach, but Terran turned them to slime. Both drone to 13, no quick pool is seen. No gas from either Zerg at this time. Hmm, due to the way that this map is designed, there are several expansions that have it outlined. It only takes one Ling to scout everything. Keep an eye on them so you don't fall behind. Startup is starting up his gas first. He must have a speedling thirst. He proceeds the pool, and his response does rule. Hatch before pool, a build far from the worst. This is a ZVZ build I like to see the most, because if they expand in response, they're usually toast. But if you block their attack, they'd be set back. So Hapro just needs to defend his outpost. I really like this Zerg Econ style. Seeing that drone after the hatch makes me smile. Finally, a pool goes down. He's checking out the Red Town. Both of their pools just serve to block the hostile. Looks like Red has almost mined a hundred Vespine. He might start speed and get a fast queen. Hapro has a drone lead, now getting gas for speed. Hapro built his extractor at 17. Hmm, some very nice scouting here from Liquid Hapro. Red stopped mining gas, that's good to know. Red is making lings, which will soon have wings. Their units will soon be toe to toe. The enemy is not rushing to hive. All of Hapro's hatcheries have been hotkeyed to five. He sees the eggs pop. He's been watching non-stop. Now, how is he going to keep his drones alive? Almost 300 minerals are stored in the bank. He needs to deflect this incoming spank. Make a crawler. Or three! He needs some ASAP. Maybe double queen to buffer the shank. April finally has his next hatchup, which is an awesome build in this matchup. Four drones to block, red zerglings flock. Can Hapro's army count catch up? Here's a wave of doom and fright. He might need drones pulled to fight. These lings aren't alone. They brought a drone? Proxy spine crawler. That's tight. So far, zero drones have died. The drones and lings run inside. Red's lings are done. Now it's time for some fun. In the natural, both armies collide. Hapro with his huge field of vision controls two groups with awesome precision. Those two lings in his main are gonna be a pain, but killing the spine is the best decision. If Hapro made pure drones at this point, he'd be dead before he could roll a joint. Two lings in the back failed their attack. So far, this game does not disappoint. Wow, he got 100 gas and a queen at the same time. With play this high level, it's easy to rhyme. And what does he need? Looks like he went speed. Whoa, look at that zergling count climb. Red's gonna have a huge force. The queen has transferred the reinforce. I think he needs a spine. He's making more drones than mine. The scouting overlord is key, of course. Hippo isn't making any lings yet. He must have practiced the situation with Red. Ten lings behind. I hope he can find some way to deal with his threat. Hippo is barely pulling in any gas. For some reason, he has a larva mass. His ten lings just started. Not a build for faint hearted. Because now there's a window for harass. Red pokes in, it was for Bane. Looks like he's gonna tech to Bane. Hapro blocks the ramp. Oh, that's a cramp. These speedlings need to be slain. Startup slings get a good surround. Now he attacks the drones, they're unbound. As the drones diminish, his lings finish, and Red slings get pounded to the ground. Look at the map. What do you see? A big train of units, obviously. I think we can trust he'll do a Baneling bust. All these aggression waves are gutsy. Finally, he has a shit ton of eggs. This looks like a build of Greg's. Hmm, both going for Baneling Nest. If he survives, I'm impressed. Who will send who to the dregs? <laughs> Alright, so, Red's Baneling Nest is practically done. If April blocks this attack, he's pretty much won. He's so baller with only one spine crawler. He's still droning, he wants to have a ton. Yeah, Hapro is wise in this Baneling bust. He's looking around, because he knows that he must. It's time for a riot. I'm gonna go quiet, because it's time for the bailings to combust!
One Bane dead. Now there are five. Big hit! He continues to drive. Bad spot, hey, bro. The drone line! Oh no! He needs to keep these drones alive. April pulls everything into his natural base. Punches Zerglings, punches clean in the face. Oh no, he's routing. Possibly shouting. There's no way April can give these links chase. Uh oh. Startup is now five drones ahead. Six drones now. April's almost dead. Red still has a queen. I love the machine. April cleans up, but I'm filled with dread. Wow, that production tab tells a tale. Red is massing links, and he just goes to unveil. Those will cause pains. Hey, Pro needs Banes. I hope Red does some sort of epic fail. So it looks like Hey, Pro can afford to morph six. He can't mine any more gas, so he's out of tricks. But Red can make more, because he's definitely not poor. Ah, Hey, Pro lost an Overlord Scout, because the Queen threw sticks. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. Hey, Pro will have to defend Nail and Tooth. 20 links to 4. Can he win anymore? Boom! That was great defense. You can't make any more banes, so I'm stuck in suspense. What the fuck? Talk about luck. Red had a lapse in his star sense. <laughs> that one bane killed so many of his men. If only April can do that again. Red's lead is ridiculous. Blue must be meticulous, because his drone count is only 10. Yeah, Hapro sees these lings, so he has to pull back. He needs to figure out when Red will attack. <laughs> really good scout. What will we find out? Our forces are under attack. Oh no, he lost units to the Zergling pack. He scouts that gas is still being mined. Hapro does not like being blind. Meanwhile, in the left aisle... I want to know what's on his mind. Eh, uh, startup scout got denied. But without a queen, April can't hide. His queen is done now. It's a larva cow. I think that larva cow should just hide inside. Enemy links poke at the top. April brings that to a stop. Look and you'll find he's seven drones behind. Red will build up, then mop. Alright, I'm gonna have to come clean. This is as far as I've seen. I have no idea who wins, if Haber loses, he violins. If he wins this, he's a Gosu machine. Let's check out each player's income. Haber is behind, things are looking glum. Oh, yuck! His supply stuck. Queens ate those overlords like a plum. It won't be long before the roaches are here. He needs his mind to be unclouded by fear. His wings got caught. He didn't lose a lot. Without scouting, he'll have to play it by ear. Hmm, what's this? Hapro is showing some aggression of his own. Red has to run or else he'll get blown! He's checking the gold so he doesn't get rolled. He pokes in and sees no expansion is shown. The enemy has a nice queen wall. No baneling bust? That's a good call. Roaches are coming! The tension is numbing! Hapro has no overlord scouting at all. His larva advantage is starting to begin. If he can block these non-stop attacks, he can win. His unit count's low, and he's got to know he should guard the ramp so speedlings don't slip in. Nice, nice. He caught some lings off guard. He still hasn't scouted Red's hidden card. Eight drones on the way, and I've got to say, defending is going to be really hard. Hmm, this ninja ling scout is worth praising. He's going to check out to see if there's any drones grazing. Switch to everyone view so we can see Red 2. I don't want to miss anything amazing. What do we see? Yeah, sure enough, it'll be Baneling Roach. The scouting overlord tried to approach. Still only one spine? Does he think he'll be fine? If he defends, he'll really impress the coach. Oh shit, Hapro is frantically trying to build. There's a very high chance he'll soon be killed. He's running out of time. His economy will climb, unless his drone's guts get spilled. This is it! The spine's almost dead. The Baneling's trade. Many Roaches at red. Red focuses his guys. Spine crawler almost dies. April gained the lead instead. April lost his entire force. But he can reinforce, of course. With a four drone lead, he has to take heat. April has really been the dark one. These few roaches are staying to fight. I think they really should have taken flight. Queen's in trouble. Get her out on the double! With three spines, he's looking alright. Startup has the option of running up the ramp, which he does, just as Zerglings come to clamp. Startup's fighting well, but he's in Zergling hell, and it looks like he's just gonna camp. It looks like Red has no follow-up plan for 
Great scouting. It's as if he scanned. Red is all in. So defense could win. April's second hatchery is forcing Red's hand. April made all of his spines on route. I guess this positioning is cute. Red knows. And he goes! The roaches have too many zerglings to shoot. Mm, April's in a better position than before. Start up just keeps on sending in more. He's retreating already because Hapro is steady, and I know it sounds like such a chore, but I implore for more scouting. With vision, he won't have to be doubting. Start up at one gas, he's still trying to mass because his army definitely isn't routing. Hapro sees this and he can size up the situation. He knows that Red is stuck in stagnation. Not knowing where he stands, Startup now expands. His army will want to move around the spine crawler's location. Because Roaches need Baneling Escort to get anything done. Keeping Lings back helps a ton. He's wary of Banes, he won't give any gains. Yeah, Hipper's gonna move his Banes. This will be fun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Startup's Roaches all go down to half. His late Banelings come to clean the riffraff. Nice Ling toss. Hapro is boss. Now his units can just hang out by the draft. But his drones can't mind out of the roaches' gaze. Good work here, picking off the strays. He's moving his D? Sounds good to me. These Erglings are on a killing craze. Right, so he can choose to attack or play defensive. Those roaches and his natural sure are pensive. He jumps the spines again to put up a pen. He's gonna kill these units because they're expensive. Ugh, too risky, the spine crawler's dead. He moves in to attack red. One link each, and then he can breach. These units are hanging on by a thread. And that's it. Failings have been cleared. Hapro's ling control is to be feared. He cannot be stopped. Red's hatch just popped. Seeing no drones mining is weird. Here's the benefit of the baneling nest. When it comes to zerglings, they're the best. Hapro swings with all of his lings. Some sick control. I'm impressed. Careful, 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 careful. What? Look at those Zerglings do that strut. He goes for the main, but what can he gain? What does he think he can cut? Startup Bailey's got stuck! The Zerglings just run amok! Most died, but he saw inside. There's no hive, so he's in luck. This single Zergling is trying to cause waste. Startup is droning up with haste. Does he have a prayer? April's going lair. Although his second gas hasn't been placed. He'll probably attack as soon as he gets roach speed. Burrow is another way to succeed. Red just mined out a pile. Hapro still has a while. Red is truly opting for greed. Wow, he's going Evo in four gas. He's gonna be as fragile as glass! But later he'll be strong, if he can live that long. Cause right now Hapro has superior mass. Alright, let's go back to Hapro's perspective. It looks like massing up is his objective. He's making roaches all day, and speed is on the way. His next attack will be effective. Hapro might have to consider air. There's no telling when Red will get lair. Since his gas count is 4, his Vespin will soar, but Hapro could end Red before he gets there. Hapro's drone timing in this game has been great! His decision making is such a strong trait! Goliath Reconstitution has halfway done its evolution. Once he has that, he won't have to wait. Red is expanding, taking his third. He wants his late game power to be absurd. Hapro drops creep so his queens can reap. I really hope Hapro can beat this nerd. It looks like the enemy is setting up more bases. Hapro should be looking to smash some faces! Make Red diminished before his plus one is finished. It's too bad he hasn't scouted any of those places. Since Hapro's on the Liquid team, he gets a practice with the Supreme! Especially Rhett, the ZVZ threat. I hold that team in high esteem. Metamorphosis oh, his speed is done and his Overseer is out. He can decide to attack based off this scout. He sees some guys, but is he wise to the extra hatchery that's about? He doesn't see a single defensive building. Red's going lair, what does he think to bring? Got a spoiler for you, there is no part two. So the fat lady is about to sing. Our man Hapro here is going to be fighting in the TSL 3. It's going to be the best tournament that you'll ever see. With Koreans and whites and incredible fights, teamliquid.net is the place.
place to be. GG! Closing Haiku. If you like this video, check out my other. By the way, Slayer's box is gonna appear in TSL 3!